Hello everyone, welcome to another Adobe Photoshop CC tutorial. We're looking at Photoshop CC 2017 in this version, and I'm going to show you how to manipulate shapes inside of Photoshop. This is, it might sound simple, and some of you might know how to do this, but it's actually not as simple, at least simple to figure out as I thought it would be when I started using Photoshop CC. With that preamble out of the way, let's get rolling. Open up any old document, anything you want to get going if you want to follow along with me. Now on the left side on my toolbar, you're going to know there's a shape tool over here, and let's just go and click on it. And let's click rectangle shape tool, and let's just draw a nice cool rectangle. Bang, nothing fancy here, guys. Pretty simple stuff. One thing I will say, if you have CS6 or an earlier version, you won't be seeing this Live Shape Properties properties panel. Uh, it's a little different looking, and in particular, this here is definitely different. Um, if you put in 50, and I'm just going to go ahead and put 50 into this um, here, you're going to notice that I have rounded the corners of my document, and I can go ahead and make changes to that all day. 309, oh, I wouldn't do that, never mind. Let's do, let's do 44. And you notice that we're changing the um, roundness of the corners. You can go ahead and do that to your heart's content. You can also unconstrain the properties, or the link, pardon me. This, and if you unlink them, then you can start making changes to, to one corner. Let's make the left corner rectangular. Okay, yeah, it looks good. And then let's make the bottom corner rectangular. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. So we've got a, we got a cool bend on the, the top right and the bottom left, and the other ones are normal. Guys, simple stuff. Most of you are probably aware of that. Where it gets a little bit tricky is now how do we go ahead and start making further adjustments to this shape? How do we get in there and just dig in? Normally, I would click on a bunch of tools. And I was like, okay, well, you can make it bigger and smaller. But I want to adjust like one particular area. And that isn't clear. So what you need to do is you need to go to the left side here. Yeah, let's not even apply that. It doesn't even matter. Left side, okay, yeah, don't apply, stop. Um, left side, and then go to the direct selection tool. Not the path selection tool, but the direct selection tool. This is where the magic comes in. This is how you can make shapes and cool things inside Photoshop without having to go into Illustrator. Click on the direct selection tool, and now, let's just say I want to make some adjustments to the top right. I'm just going to drag that out. No biggie. And boom, when I click on it, I now have access to this point. So if I want to make an adjustment, let's say I want to make it into something like this, who knows? Apply it, it will turn it into a shape, boom, done. Maybe I want to change the handle, okay, piece of cake, let's take a look. Done, you're going to see that this direct selection tool allows us to go in and use the points generated, turn it into a path, and then just go wonky on it and make this into whatever you want. So let's say I want... I don't know, maybe I want that to go in like that, and then maybe I want this one to go in out. I mean, go nuts. There's a, there's a whole other level here that I'm going to show you in a later tutorial about using the pen tool, adding in uh, vertices and things like that. But in a nutshell, guys, if you want to make adjustments to your shapes inside Photoshop, the direct selection tool is the way to go. That is the only way that I know of to make adjustments that actually allow you to go outside of the standard constraints, guys. That's it for this tutorial. I hope it helped. I will be back more with some pen tool stuff. I've got a whole bunch more tutorials planned. Be back soon. Thanks for watching. Remember, thumbs up, like up, subscribe, do what you got to do. Cheers. Bye.